My name's Robert Grosvenor, owner of Headmasters. I've been, been in trading here in the community for the last 23 years. Um, known a lot of businesses come and go. Uh, I am now uh, the chairman of the Persia Road and Bourneville Traders Association. Um, applying for the Mary Porters bid. Uh, I have a vision and strategy uh, for the Persia Road um, to create footfall to our high street and regenerate it to a level where 30 years ago where our high streets were more desirable and more people shopped. Uh, a marketing uh, 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 strategy and, and vision is that uh, obviously the traders itself developed more of a uh, membership uh, scheme. At the moment we have 56 members, uh, obviously want to increase that to 250. Um, it doesn't take a genius that obviously increasing a membership will obviously we can start financing ourselves indirectly. Um, that's important to, to grow the association. Also continue still working with uh, community groups and residential groups within the Persia Road Corridor. Also engaging with landowners and landlords uh, to you know, negotiate uh, lower rents, lower rates to encourage variation of traders on the Persia Road, especially in Sturch, that is important. Sturch is at a 25 year uh, decline of uh, what I call uh, daytime trade. Obviously there's businesses that have been running on the Persia Road for over 30 years. Um, we would create their, tap into their expertise and people like myself that have been running the business for 25 years, they've got a lot of business knowledge. We would mentor these new entrepreneurs or new business owners to the area and help them to move their business in a direction where our high streets are unique and innovative in its own right. Hello, I'm Diane Rogers for the Green Pet Shop on the Green in Kings Norton, Birmingham. Um, we consider we are a village community. We've got many varied shops. Unfortunately, we do have a problem that we're not on the main high street and therefore it's a little bit difficult for people who don't already know we're here to actually come and find us. Very historic area, the lovely green area which in the brilliant sunshine people sit on. We've also got a very historic church and St Nicholas's Place which is used to be called the Saracen's Head and is an old inn and also there's an old grammar school at the back. Uh, again, that's a, a very much a draw, it should be for the local tourism. I support the bid because I want to become part of a bigger community and get all the business owners and employees, not just the owners but the employees as well who are vitally important to feel part of the community and we can actually achieve something. Uh, obviously whilst generating income for our businesses otherwise we wouldn't be here and be able to develop the area so that more people are aware and actually do come and visit all Cotteridge, Kings Norton and Sturchley. Uh, my name's Pete Walker, I'm the current chairman of Sturgeon Neighbourhood Forum. I've been chairman now for four years and a member of the previous uh, residence association for probably the last 20 years. It used to be open during the day, which was, which was a big plus. That there were a lot of shops uh, down here where you, you, you could shop. As some, of the, some of the older ones are still here and still trading very well. But unfortunately, like a lot of areas, we, we've inherited more and more takeaways and restaurants, and this really spoils the daytime feel of the, uh, of the area. But I think the time is coming for, for a bit, bit of a revelation in Sturgley. You, you can feel it, you know. I, I think it, it's a, it would be a great opportunity for Sturgley if, if we can only encourage new businesses back into the daytime premises. We've had a lot of premises empty for a long, long time now. 
but I think if if uh, if there's enough thought put into it uh, with niche marketing, I've done a survey recently, had a very good response. That most people said what comes needs to be quality. Well, I know there's a baker's coming soon, which is brilliant. We've seen uh, letting agents, uh, at least that open during the day, uh, solicitors have come, uh, a new cafe, uh, a decent news agent. We, we've had a new photographer's uh, turn up, uh, a bike shop, which uh, ev eventually intends to hire bikes as well, which, which will be good. There's a lot of good shops and then there's a, a good air of change coming now and it, I think it just needs a little bit of encouragement. As for meeting places along the high street, we have Sturchley Prospects, what have been running now for what, about a year, I would say. And they've really come in, they, they've, they've made people start to think about what they want in Sturchley and not what they had expected just to put up with. You know, and the, there's always been a strong community base in Sturchley. We've got a uh, community school right in the centre of Sturchley. And if there could be more done with the children from the school uh, outside the front, you know. Uh, like the Love Sturchley, <laughs> like the Love Sturchley event, which which actually was was quite stunning in its way. You know, I said when they first said they was going to do it, I hadn't got a clue what it was going to be like, but the, the end results were really great, really impressive. Sturchley Community Market is now in its second year, I believe, uh, and they've had fantastic results. And it's just local people selling local produce, and again the emphasis on what they sell is quality. It would be lovely to see that, perhaps even if it's, if it's moored in the high street and uh, when the public open space is available it's possible that it may move and maybe, maybe we could have more markets selling different things on different, week, different weekends. Sturchley Happenings is a local group, uh, they're involved with the market and they also come up with the idea of a pop-up cinema which has gone really well. Uh, especially as it's in unusual places. Uh, sometimes it's, it's in the local church, sometimes it's in the local pub. Uh, the, we've even had some in the Indian restaurants which were sold out, so I think we can have a few more of them. And it, it, again, it, it's, it's local people doing local things to glue the community together. The, this bit will be a perfect opportunity for Sturgeon to work with Cottridge and uh, other neighbouring areas to, Im to improve the whole of the South Corridor. I feel sure that the other areas can influence what we, what we want down here. They, they, the shopping centres are better and with, with encouragement from the traders in Cottridge who know traders who may be willing to move in, I think this is an ideal opportunity for Sturgeley. Forward, I've always liked Sturchley. Sturchley, St Urchley I call it. The opposite of obvious, charming, loved, real. People talk about it, it's got a past, you have to imagine. The closer you are, the better. Dig a little and you find much has been lost, taken, goes by another name, the station, the baths, the library, they were all christened Sturchley. Meandering, trickling and flooding, it's a fixed in a place, slopes up and down, a valley where people meet. It's the way it feels that people like. There's no posing, just real life. Passes through a many, not knowing all Sturchley has to offer, regular stop for their suppliers, but few journey east and west. A place in waiting. Sturchley lived and Sturchley worked. Cooperation is its secret to success. Viva Sturchley.